Hello, and welcome to Import.io. Our platform has many different features and settings to help you extract data in the most efficient way possible. Today, we'll be going over the different input options and settings you have available in each extractor you build. We'll start by clicking on the Inputs tab. Here, you have your input sources and a list of the URLs your extractor will open to extract data. Let's go over an explicit list of static values. While an explicit list of static values is selected as your input source, you have multiple options to help adjust the URLs you have present in your URL list. You'll see, above the URL list, you have an array of six different buttons that can also help to adjust your URL list. We'll go over each of these buttons from left to right. The Clear All button will remove all URLs in the URL list. Remove Duplicate Rows will remove any URLs that are duplicates. Cleanup will remove any invalid URLs or blank rows. Download Inputs will let you download your inputs in a file type of your choosing. Import Inputs will let you upload a CSV or Excel file that contains URLs you want your extractor to extract data from. And lastly, Generate URLs will allow you to create multiple URLs from an example URL using a variable allowing you to mass input URLs from the same website, such as if the URL changes each time you go to the next page of a site. There is also a plus icon to the right of the Generate URLs button, which will allow you to add another row to the URL list. Once added, you can double-click the URL in the list to edit the URL. Underneath the URL list, there is a text box where you can also add URLs to the URL list. Anytime you add new URLs, make sure you click the Save button to save your changes to your inputs. Now, let's change the input source to columns from another extractor. When you have your input source set to this, you are essentially chaining two extractors together. Your input source extractor should capture URLs which this new extractor will then open to grab data from. When selecting your source extractor, make sure you're selecting the correct extractor that grabs URLs to input. Once the correct extractor is selected, it will show you the list of columns your source extractor pulls. The one we need is the one that has URL next to the column name. Click and drag the URL column to the target extractor side, then click Save. Your two extractors are now chained together. There is an option below the input source labeled Always Run the Parent First. This option will run both extractors every time one is run, so you're always getting the most up-to-date information. Lastly, let's change our input source to Columns from a Change Report. Change reports are built into Import I.O. to ensure you're only getting new data. It will look at previous extractor runs, find the new data, and present the data to you so you can see what has changed since the last run. If your extractor is capturing URLs, this option will make it so your extractor only pulls the new data. You still have the option to always run the parent first, but the changes start when we look at the set of results. In the Set of Results section, you can choose what rules you want the extractor to follow. In the Source Reports section, you can choose which change report you would like the inputs to come from. The Target Extractor is the extractor that will open the inputs and extract data from those URLs. Now that we've covered the different input settings, let's talk about the extractor settings that every extractor has. 
When we click on the Settings tab, the first options available are the general settings which have multiple toggles depending on your needs. Email me when this extractor run finishes. We'll email you to notify you how the run went, if there were any errors and ensures you see a new run is completed. Include inputs in outputs. We'll include the URL where the data was sourced from in the output. It will add a extra column to the end of your output, which shows the URL. Enable screen capture. We'll take a screenshot of the entire page that is landed on to show how the site is presented when landing on the page. Every screenshot uses one additional query. Enable HTML extraction. We'll capture the HTML from the site instead of specific text. The next section is the schedule. Here you can set your extractor to run on a set schedule, whether it be daily, weekly, monthly, or a custom schedule based on your needs. Make sure you save your schedule before leaving to a new page. Next, we have a section for webhooks. If you have a webhook URL, this is where you will input that webhook and add any headers that are needed. Near the bottom, we have our proxy settings. Here you can change the location import IO will load websites from. This is especially helpful if you're looking at websites outside of your country or region. You also have the option to set your proxy between a data center proxy or a premium residential proxy. If for some reason your site doesn't load properly, try adjusting the proxy settings to help. Lastly, we have extractor tags. A tag is composed of a key and a value. Key and value names are completely up to you. These will later be used within the body of a post request to run the extractor if applicable. This was a summary of the inputs and settings tabs inside of Import.io. Feel free to look through our user guide for more information about each one of these settings. Thank you for watching.